Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I just thought I'd do some random sniffing with you guys. I have some perfumes samples left over from Gourmand Month that I have, that was February. I can link that for you guys down there. I made a playlist if you guys want to see it. But yeah, I just want to sniff some perfumes randomly and just share my thoughts with you guys on these because there are just so many perfumes to talk about and it's hard to like, you know, make separate reviews for each and every one of them. Uh, well, it's not hard, but it would be very, very time consuming. So I'll just do some like quick mini reviews, quick thoughts, first impressions on these, or at least some of them. And yeah, that's, that's what this video is going to be. So let's just choose one. Hopefully it's a spray sample so it's easy. So let's go with this one. This is called Alambar. What is that? <laughs> I think it's a Laboratorio Olfativo if I'm not mistaken. And I want to get it right so I'm gonna check which house this is, Alambar. Um, just bear with me. In the meantime, please let me know your scent of the day. And let's see. Yeah, this is this is labra Laboratorio Olfativo. I didn't look at the notes. I just saw. I just want to show you guys the the bottle. It's very simplistic. This is a niche house. I've tried some from this perfume line. I know that Cecile Zerokian has made perfumes for this line, but I'm not really sure. Oh, this is still taped. Uh, I'm not sure if she made every all of the ones from this line and I also want to mention that I have received this from a very generous viewer so thank you so much for sending this to me and uh, okay so got the tape off Alan Barr hmm this is very 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 ambery that's the first thing I notice. Ooh, there's like a creamy sweetness in here. Uh, powderiness, very like rich and deep and thick, like resinous. It all, it kind of reminds me of like blended raisins a little bit because there is a sweetness and it and it has the consistency of like a sticky resin which reminds me of like raisins as if you were to like put them in a blender and mash them up <laughs> uh so yeah this is like blended raisins powderiness amberiness vanilla and maybe a touch of smoky incense, something along those lines. Yeah, this is definitely very, very ambery. That's what I'm picking up most. And I think it smells nice. Something nice for like cooler weather, fall or winter. Reminding me a little bit of Amber Absolute as well, but like more powdery. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> it's a nice perfume. So let's get in here and see how close I was. <laughs> so the main accords are amber, warm spicy, cinnamon, cacao, and vanilla. The top notes are bergamot, cacao, and amber. I don't really get the cacao, maybe later in the dry down, but uh, the middle notes are cinnamon, vanilla, and amber again. And in the base notes, there's amber. So this is a very, very, very amber-centric perfume. It has amber on all three levels of the pyramids. The amber, amber, amber. Hmm, there's no powdery notes in here. Because to my nose, it comes off as quite powdery. Yeah, and I think it smells really nice. Especially if you're like an amber lover. This is, this is quite nice based on my first impressions. Okay, so shall we pick another one? 
you guys want to share with your uh, your thoughts about uh, any of the perfumes that I talk about today, just share it a lot as I go along these if you guys want to do that. Uh, so, ooh, this is a great fragrance. This is one I kind of want to do like a separate review on. This is Atelier des Ors Lune Feline. And you can see that this one has like gold flakes. I don't know if that's showing up or not. But there's literally some gold flakes uh, just floating in there, being all pretty and shiny. And I think I'm going to pick a different one. I'm going to leave this one for like a separate review because I think this deserves a separate review. I've been testing this for like two years and I haven't gotten around to making a review about it yet. So I will put that aside and choose another one. Okay, this one. This one is from the house of Mika Leff, and this is called Mon Parfum Cristal. Okay, so this one I have tried many, many times, uh, and I've worn it many times. I have like five samples of this particular perfume. There was like a perfume locally that was closing down, so they were selling their their uh, samples for like 25 cents a piece or was it 50 cents or something like that so I picked up what I could um, oh wow <laughs> so this is Mon Parfum Cristal wow I've always liked this perfume and I don't think I've ever mentioned that or maybe mentioned it like very very long time ago um, like years ago but I've always liked this perfume this to me smells like Oud Bouquet without the Oud so it's, it has that very syrupy, thick, rich, rosy, uh, sweetness, vanilla, praline thing going on. And it is so, so nice. And that's like basically the best way I can uh, describe this. Oud bouquet without the oud or any of those animalic notes. It's just focused mainly on that thick, syrupy, rosy, vanilla sweetness it's so nice you guys and a perfect alternative for anyone who doesn't like oud but likes oud bouquet like the leftovers yeah this is so nice it's very 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 sweet very intense and bold and syrupy and thick and it can be cloying if you over spray this one but if you are light on the trigger, or maybe just spray it like on your back or your back of your head or something like that. So it's not like directly wafting up in your nose. Um, then, wow. <laughs> then it's very, very wearable, very uh, strong with performance and longevity. It leaves a crazy, awesome sillage. And I really, I really enjoy this. Like for like a date night, it just seems like a perfume that would stand above everyone else's. So when any, everyone else is wearing like La Vie Bell, you know, popular perfumes, a La Vie Bell or Black Opium or Flower Bomb, like other women around you are wearing that, even Coco Mademoiselle. This one is like, <laughs> definitely has a presence and I think that they would like overtake those because it's so noticeable and very like head turning like for me if I smelled a woman on uh, if I smelled someone wear this woman or man I'd probably do a double take because I really think it's just uh, unique and attention grabbing and sexy and sweet and syrupy and very very gourmand and delicious and it's something that if I smell this on someone, I would definitely remember that. Like it would, I would remember the, the next day, if you know what I mean. And I don't really ask people what they're wearing when I, when I smell someone, just some stranger on the street or whatever. I'm not the kind of person that goes up to them and asks them what they are wearing because I'm shy in real life. <laughs> believe it or not but with this perfume I might do that I might 
like say if it's like a bus ride and or like a train ride and you're kind of stuck there for a long time and they're just like right beside you I would probably ask because this is that kind of perfume <laughs> kind of like a hidden gem in the frag calm I don't hear anyone talk about this but if you do get a chance to smell this one um, Mon Parfum Cristal by M. Nicolef. It's the same company that makes uh, Ylang, which is one of my favorites as well. Um, then please do try this. Especially if you, as I said before, if you love Oud, oh, if you like Oud Bouquet, if it were not to have the Oud, <laughs> then you probably like this. So I am totally rambling. I'm going to pull up the notes and read out the notes to you. Mon Parfum <clears throat> Crystal. Okay, so the bottle looks like this. She hand makes, like, decorates the bottles with the crystals and stuff like that. So it's a very unique looking bottle. Um, the accords are sweet, rose, vanilla, musky, and amber. And the notes on the top are pink, pepper, and cinnamon. In the middle, we have rose and vanilla, and base, we have praline, musk, and amber. Oh, sorry, not praline, it's toffee. And definitely, you get the toffee. That's where it's getting its, like, syrupy, sweet, caramelly kind of smell. Oh, you guys, it's so, so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This also kind of reminds me of like the sweet, sexy, syrupy kind of vibe going on in Maison Lancome perfumes. Like the uh, Roses Berberanza, very like gourmand, mouth-watering, sexy, yummy, uh, gourmand thing. <laughs> also Parfait de Roses. It has that same kind of feeling to it. Like this perfume I think can easily fit into the Lancome's uh, Grand Cru collection, their exclusive line because it is so super duper sweet and rich and sultry and I'm totally gushing I know but yeah this is definitely a hidden gem that I haven't talked about before so the cat's out of the bag <laughs> Mon Parfum Cristal by M. Mikalef all right so let's do one more I know it's a long video but sometimes I like making long as long videos for you guys just something different to get out of the routine review thing. So the last one I'll talk about today is this one. This, uh, yeah, okay, so I can barely read it, but it says Matsolari Vaniglia. That is a perfume, the, the name of the perfume. And I think I've talked about this perfume before. It was in one of my lists, I believe top seven caramel perfumes or vanilla perfumes. One of those things. I have mentioned this before. So Mozzolari is a niche house or a niche. I think it's actually a designer house. I'm not sure. Now I'm thinking something else. But I know it's an Italian house. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. So this is amazing, like really, really, really amazing. This is a vanilla caramel toffee smell. Oh my gosh, it's so thick though, you guys. When I've worn this and tested this, like it's, you can see the, I'm not sure if it's showing up, but it has like a dark color uh, tint on there. Um, it's really, really, really oily on my skin. So you have to be okay with that if you wear it, if you like spray it and it's like just an oily kind of consistency, uh, more so like a, a body oil than an, uh, like an eau de parfum. Uh, this might even be an extrait, I'm not sure, but if the oiliness in perfumes bothers you, then maybe this one wouldn't be for you. But if that doesn't mind, but if you don't, if you're not bothered by that, then this is definitely a beautiful caramel vanilla gourmand that smells literally like caramel <laughs> and it's amazing it's amazing how they weren't able to capture this so realistically the smell of caramel and toffee and 
this reminds me of the butterscotch caramel on top of those ice cream sundae cups that you can get at McDonald's. So when you order that, like so they'll put the, they have like the ice cream in the cup and then they have like the hot butterscotch syrup on top that they drizzle. And so when you get it, it's still quite warm and it kind of melts with the ice cream. Oh, that's exactly what this smells like and it's so delicious. Like you can see it even got darker. Oh, it's not showing up well, I'm sorry you guys. But it's, it, 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 it might even like stain your clothes. If you're wearing white, you gotta be careful with that. But yes, this is a, a linear caramel vanilla toffee butterscotch kind of scent. It reminds me of Werther's original candies if they were melted down into a syrupy liquid. It reminds me of the McDonald's butterscotch syrup. It reminds me of the filling inside of strope waffles and if you uh, have visited Holland or are Dutch, you guys know what that is. It's like a caramel filling in between two hot thin waffles. It's just delicious and uh, such one of the best caramelly gourmands that I've ever tried because it is very literal so you have to be prepared for that I think if you literally want to smell like a walking caramel melted caramel bowl or something like that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that is a great perfume. Uh, let me just pull up the notes for you guys. Um, Matsolari. Now that it's, th now that I'm thinking about it, I think Matsolari is a designer perfume and then they, a, a designer house, like they make clothing. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just guessing. And then they also make perfumes. Okay. What's going on with my internet? Oh, there we go. So the main accords are vanilla, caramel, sweet, powdery, and floral. The notes listed are only three. Uh, top note, vanilla, middle notes, caramel, and base note is orchid. This was released in 2014. It's classified as an oriental floral. Um, no, <laughs> I don't get any floral in here whatsoever. I just get a straight up caramel. I'll show you guys the bottle, what it looks like. It's just a very simplistic bottle. Like that. And yeah, if you guys are looking for a holy grail um, caramel perfume, Please, 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 please try to test this one because ugh, it's just that good, that delicious. And I even am tempted to lick this paper. <laughs> I'm trying to like cut down my sugar intake, you know, but when I smell this, I just want to, I want to have like, like a caramelly dessert or something like that. But you know, if I can't eat it, I can at least smell it <laughs> or test it. Okay, guys, so that was my long, long, long video of gourmand niche perfumes. I'm glad that I did this because now you guys know about, especially these two hidden gems, the Mon Parfum Cristal and the Mazzolari Vaniglia. Uh, if you guys have tried this, any of these perfumes, please do let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'll be doing more videos like this, kind of just mini reviews, uh, longer videos, just for, to like mix it up and try to have a little bit more variety. I do want to do a separate review on the on the Loon Feline sometime when I do have time. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it regardless and I'll be back with more videos soon. See ya. Bye bye.